Welcome to Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki and today I'm trying to organize this credenza. This is the first thing that you see when you enter my house and it is in between the dining space and the living living room. It holds all my crockeries. So this is some of the before pictures. As you can see, I have stuffed everything inside it and it follows no system at all. It is so difficult for me to take out anything and everything. I mean, I, it is literally a hunt to find something which you need. And uh, I have to keep it real with you guys. And I have to show you this. This was a scenario where how much ever I tried, I just couldn't find anything. So I decided that this space needed some love and care. And it was time to show that this can be done and when I saw my crockery pile I realized that okay I'm a crockery hoarder these are the drawers it has this credenza has two drawers and um, it is pretty spacious but it's just that it does not follow any system and so that's why I feel that everything looks so cluttered I mean this drawer is empty the other drawer is stuffed uh, I got this box from Amazon okay so I tried uh, to do some bit of organizing few years back but it was just not working uh, I can easily store these uh, bottles these uh, salt and pepper bottles and then a sanitizer which is a mandatory thing these days you know and then some toothpicks This is actually a plastic uh, base and on the top it has a bamboo kind of a cover. I don't know if it is a real bamboo or something but it looks pretty real and it's very sturdy. So this is how it looks and I'm so embarrassed but this is how bad this looks. So I just needed to organize it. It was high time I was saying no to this space but it was time. It was time for me to organize this space. So let's get started. So step number one that I did was to empty the space. I mean you need to have a clean slate to start, to see how much you have, to analyze how much you need and how much needs to go out. And uh, then again comes the sorting part, like if you need, how frequently you need, I mean how much you use. So those things that we will be using will be kept and those things will, which are not in use, maybe we can give to somebody who will love it more to have it and find it as a blessing from our side. My daughter was equally helping me out during this whole process. We were recording everything during the night time. It was almost after dinner that we decided that yes, the space needs a bit of cleaning and organizing. We never realized it was such a mammoth task to do, but yes, it was done. It took me almost two to three hours to organize this entire space. Please consider subscribing to our channel and if you like this video, please like and share with your friends and family. And this is how the space looks like. It is all empty. Everything is out and it was time to purge. Oh my God, I am I'm declaring myself as a, a crockery uh, junkie. Can you see this? How much? how much things I have and this was a very emotional uh, part of it where you know that you still have so many things and you don't want to part from these and you still see that okay I can use this in somewhere or the other <laughs> okay so it was time to give all the cupboards a good wipe and clean and I started cleaning the entire cupboard bit by bit
every nook and cranny was cleaned now it was time to arrange some systems to it so baskets are my best friends and apart from baskets i have also used these uh, i don't know what they're called they are uh, shelf organizers they just slide onto your shelf and it can be used inside your wardrobes in your crockery cabinets they're pretty sturdy i can tell you that for sure i've been using it for a very long time now so they're pretty sturdy and they come in different sizes so i have used uh, two of them in uh, this credenza then was the fun part to organize organize based on as i mentioned on how frequently you use a stuff and those things which are not used very often were pushed behind so this was uh, this is my biggest uh, bowl that i use to keep rice or biryani this is my cake tray plus it also serves me as as a snack tray this is again a platter that i use most often this basket holds all my cups and as you can see from the behind there are those bowls that i don't use very frequently they are very seasonal ones pizza platters are the ones that gets used in our house all the time so they have to be like slide and go position this is one of my favorites this cutlery box oh my god this is my favorite this holds all my cutleries in one place they keep it clean and tidy so it comes with a a divider as you can see here this comes with a plastic divider so everything is sorted by categories though it doesn't look like from the top from here but everything is sorted my tiny spoons my forks my salad knives my butter knives everything is sorted in this serving spoons and then it comes with the top lid which is an additional bonus it keeps all the dust and uh, dirt away from this and it's pretty sleek and sturdy now this bird cage holds all my yogurt jars and or parfait jars and uh, this is very handy this basket that you see is having all my salad bowls and lasagna uh, uh, plates then uh, it also has a ice bucket to it a butter plate so yeah these are condiment jars the one that you see in the behind is that beverage jar that i don't use very often but it's still very accessible again these bottles i don't use often i use it for my daughter's birthday mostly so it has been kept behind just behind the basket so if i remove this basket i can easily access that but still it is away from the side so it gives it a very clean and neat look so i'm pretty happy how things are organizing like that only that time. so this is the uh, right side of the cupboard or the credenza and this holds all sorts of platters for me now the top shelf has uh, my lazy susans uh, i have one marble one steel and uh, at the bottom i have all the platters now this is a fruit bowl it's a beautiful flower fruit bowl and i like to use it for displaying fruit sometimes i even keep some breads on top this is my marble lazy susan i got it from amazon this is the steel lazy susan that's a cake tray that i have and these are some condiment jars that i kept in front this is my toast rack i use it very often and uh, they have some of the platters now this holds my uh, kettles now they are very thin uh, glass and they are very fragile so i like to keep them inside a basket it is safe there then again my cake tray is there then some more platters this is my olive tray this is a wooden cake tray that i got it from bajara market and again this basket i'll just show you in a minute what is inside now this is where i store all my platters this is a space that gets used all the time and as you can see i have stored the platters vertically reason being it helps me to choose whichever platter i want it doesn't break it doesn't crack or anything 
and I have two small jugs and that's the, the, the bowls that you see at the back of the basket that is the holder for that that I got it from home center now in this basket I hold all my table mats uh, I like to keep it a thin sheet of plastic on top to keep away the dust and everything and again it is stored in a file uh, organizing method so that whatever I need I can grab and go so it keeps it really neat and clean I'll, and I'll show you how I keep it like that and how I fold it there's a specific trick to it so you fold your napkins in uh, half then in quarters and then again fold it one more time this is the uh, height of the basket that I have maybe for you it must be something different now each napkin will have two ends then uh, if you hold it like this then you can see this part is a little thick because where the uh, seam has been folded and the other side is thin so one napkin you have to put it like this and the other opposite so this gives a very aesthetic look and it does the bulk doesn't form on the one side I'm putting it with my one hand so it's a little bit difficult but I really wanted to show you that it is very very easy to do so as you can see I shoved everything inside it just took me a few more seconds extra because I was using one hand and having my phone on my other hand and I shoved the plastic in and instead of flipping the cap like this which will not let me do that I have just flipped the cap like this the lid like this And this everything stays neat and clean inside the basket now these are the top drawers that I showed you these are the table mats that we use on a daily basis we like using dark colors on daily basis because I have a seven-year-old in my house and uh, they tend to I need to have cert certain things that are pretty sturdy and uh, easy to wash I just got those napkin rings from Amazon and on this side I have kept these baskets and I've sorted them based on uh, how fragile the thing is so all my crockery and uh, ceramic kind of things come in this basket like these uh, small chutney bowls these uh, tiny platters this again all these things are like condiment serving things they all come over here and uh, these shovels I got it from again from Amazon they come so handy uh, they came along with the tongs they had five shovels and five tongs this is those uh, cheese knife again got it from Amazon they have this nice very nice sturdy marble handles and on the other side was tongs so This is how I have kind of arranged my credenza and I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video was a little helpful. Thank you.